Well, hello everyone, I'm Shirin Shatarzadeh and in this presentation I'm going to talk about uh, Underground Sky, an IAU OAD funded project for online astronomy education in Iraq. First of all, let's talk about the challenges that we had and we also have. Uh, you know, teaching astronomy, especially on an online platform, have, uh, has many challenges in Iran. And so designing a successful plan for solving, for solving these challenges needs lots of efforts. As an example of these challenges, I should mention the internet speed, as Iran has the worldwide rank of 120 for internet speed, which make, makes it difficult for uh, teachers and students to uh, intern and use online classes. Another challenge is about teachers who are commonly unfamiliar with uh, using electronic devices and online platform, uh, which makes them unable to use these uh, platforms and tools uh, properly. A third challenge is about astronomy education itself, whether it's online or not. You know, we are in lack of innovation in our teaching methods. Uh, in astronomy, both in low-tech low tech and high-tech uh, platform uh, environments in Iran. So, uh, these challenges are the main reasons that we decided to uh, start Under Run Sky. Uh, the name of the project was inspired from Under the Sky, which was uh, IAU's slogan for its 100th anniversary. Uh, let's have a look to, uh, at our uh, uh, visual identity uh, during the uh, design process. We decided to use uh, three main elements for our logo. Uh, these elements are our country Iran, the sky or uh, and or the sky, and accessibility and reaching for the uh, stars. And now you can see all of these three elements as a single concept in our logo. And about, our, and about our color palette, we decided to use a uh, navy blue as one of our main colors uh, to, to induce the meaning of uh, night nice card to our audience. So let's have it. Uh, let's have a look at uh, our goals and missions. There are four main goals uh, in our uh, in our project, which uh, which are uh, gender equality. Uh, equity in access in education for everyone, uh, diversity in language, culture, and religion, and uh, also promoting peace. And our mission for this project has uh, two main phases: the short, uh, the short-term phase, and the long-term. As the short term is uh, about spreading astronomy education in Iran in the time of pandemic. And the long term is uh, expanding, is expanding the project uh, beyond Iran's borders and uh, in different languages. For example, uh, as you might know, there are several languages uh, spoken in uh, uh, several uh, parts of Iran and also in our neighbor countries, such as Turkish and Arabic, which we want to spread our uh, project in, in these languages too. And about the parts of our project, uh, you know, Under the Sky has uh, four small programs. The first one is a science is about uh, scientific webinars and Instagram lives. Is the goal of this part is to connect uh, well-known Iranian and non-Iranian uh, and non-Iranian astronomers with public in Iran. Uh, I mean, whoever that is interested in astronomy and what astronomy in space and wants to learn more. So this way, there will be a great chance for people, uh, especially uh, our elementary and secondary students, to know astronomers and ask uh, their questions from them. The second program is to design astronomy education masterclass courses from elementary to uh, advanced level for several ages. Uh, the main purpose of this part is to provide the chance of studying astronomy for students who can't access proper activities uh, for remote learning in their own, in their own hometown. Thirdly, uh, we intend to run meetings with IAU astronomers, which creates a network between them and students, and the students also, also students' parents, their teachers, so they can uh, have conversation with them and ask common questions about astronomy. Finally, uh, our last program is to provide an open access education approved resources for teachers who want to teach astronomy in Farsi and, and uh, are in lack of qualified resources such as programs, tools, contents um, from different languages. Uh, about our scheduling, planning for the project was started uh, in summer 2020. This was the time that we wanted to choose the main concepts uh, of, for uh, launching under the sky <clears throat> in uh, short-term phases. 
uh, and uh, you know, honestly, gathering uh, members for a subgroup was so tough. So we started. Uh, so we uh, so we started to launch our initial phases with just our main members, which I will mention later in this presentation. And also, I should mention that designing uh, the next step was designing our website, which is uh, and collecting our uh, initial resources, which is almost done. Uh, after that, we launched the first phase in January 2021, but uh, we had to uh, stop launching other phases temporarily. Uh, this was due to economical and social difficulties in our country. So uh, the next phases are postponed to summer 2021. And uh, from the beginning of our project, we started to observe the mo uh, and collect the most updated and most appli applicable educational resources for uh, astronomy education. Uh, in this way, we tried to choose uh, the resources which were uh, useful for both high and low-tech low -tech environments. Uh, almost all of our resources have been categorized based uh, on age and educational level of our audience. And these uh, resources have been uploaded uh, on our website of the project, which you can find uh, in, in this address, astronomyonline.ir. These resources plus some uh, lecture-based instructional programs have been designed by experienced astronomy teachers in Iran. And uh, in our initial months, we focused on getting advices and recommendations from people who are professional in, educate, in education in order, uh, in order to know how to uh, engage, the public, uh, engage the public during the pandemic um, into astronomy. Uh, as a result of uh, this work, uh, we decided to use teacher-centered and student-centered approaches to uh, launch under Iran Sky. And uh, we also divided our audience into three groups, elementary and secondary students, teachers, and general audience. So they can be motivated in different ways by in our social media, in our social medias and our website. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, accessibility and diversity are two of our main goals in this project. So we started contacting teachers and science communicators from all over Iran, uh, as in these uh, people and centers were include were included uh, local astronomy clubs and student research centers in small in small towns from all over Iran. And uh, you know our aim is to construct a national network with these institutions and all of these people, so everyone in Iran can take the advantage of high quality education and um, make the quality of astronomy education inclusive and equitable in Iran. And in the end, let me introduce our, our team briefly. I really appreciate all of them. Right now, we have uh, 12 main members. Saeed and Hussein are in charge of leading and planning the program, while Shirin and I uh, are concentrating on gathering and producing the educational and uh, educational content resources. Uh, our other members are in different subgroups and are working on the other aspects uh, of our project, such as our social media strategy, in, in the communication and development. So, thank you for your attention, and I hope you have enjoyed this presentation.